What's going on, guys? It's your old friend, the tie-dye dude. I'm normally on Twitch, but today I'm making a YouTube video because I wanted everyone to be able to download the 5M client and be able to successfully play on the GTA 5 roleplay server that everyone's been talking about. It's, it's kind of blowing up right now all over the internet, all over YouTube, and a lot of streamers are getting on this. So I want to show you at home on how to download it uh, yourself. It's very easy. Some people are very intimidated by this, and they shouldn't be. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. It's very simple. Uh, first thing you want to do is create a folder on your desktop, and we're going to call ours 5M. This is where you're going to launch your application from, okay? This is very important. Next, you're going to want to go to 5M.net. Very easy. You can just type in HTTPS colon slash slash 5M.net, and it'll take you right here. This is what you're going to use to launch your application, and you're going to want to be able to launch your application to be able to play. So the first thing that pops up is the terms of service. Do we agree to it? Absolutely. So now we're downloading it here. I've already uh, downloaded previously, so it's a, a copy here. We're going to show it in the folder. We're not going to launch it from here, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it in our 5M folder. And then we're going to launch it. Yes, we want to run this. And the reason we're launching it is it's going to uh, download and uh, install, right? Um, install the files that it needs to operate. So right here when this pops up, this is asking to select the folder containing the Grand Theft Auto 5. Which means you have to have a license and legal copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 in order to play on 5M. Or uh, roleplay servers or any other servers you like. So the easiest way to do this is to go check out the game section that you have in your library on Steam or wherever you have Grand Theft Auto saved. And uh, I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to check out my local files, the third tab from the top here from Properties, and uh, go to Browse Local Files. This right here is where my Grand Theft Auto is stored. So if I just click this bar right on top, I can copy it. And I'm going to pull up a notepad real quick, and I'm going to paste the location of it, because we're going to want to know where that's at so we can properly, uh, so 5M can properly extract the files and needs from uh, GTA 5, right? So, we're going to come back here, and it says uh, C Program Files 86, which we're in, Steam Apps, correct, Steam Apps, correct, Steam Apps, correct, common. We're going to select this folder, we're going to select that folder, okay? Uh, this is a pop-up that's going to uh, happen every time you launch 5M. Not a big deal. You're currently using an outdated version of Windows. Don't worry about it. Just click OK. We're going to get out of our notepad here. And this is going to take a moment to uh, install an update, okay? We'll go through a couple things real quickly while that's installing and updating. First of all, um, this right here, this little icon, the 5M, after this is installed, the application is what you're going to use to launch. You're no longer going to click... This Grand Theft Auto icon right here. You're going to leave that. You can delete it. You can do whatever you want. You're going to launch from 5M. People have these theories that 5M can get you banned from Social Rockstar. That is not the case. Not a single person's ever been banned using 5M. And nobody will in the future either. What do we got here? Yes, it needs to update the game cache. Absolutely. Yes, we want to copy that. The next thing I want to talk about is application data. Now... There are things uh, you may download for certain servers. Uh, we might have this in the future for ours. Uh, as you can tell, ours is Sin City Roleplay, a very well-known server, very popular server. Um, our folder, or the folder you may find downloaded, um, may be called uh, Citizen. 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 <laughs> so you may find uh, some 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 servers may have a download of a folder. And they, you wonder where that folder goes, right? Well, where the hell does it go? Well, it actually goes in here with this little snail icon where it says application. And you'll see a citizen folder. Some servers will want you to download their citizen folder and basically just replace it. And I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess it up, but you want to replace that folder. Ours for right at the, at this moment, uh, the video being made, um, we do not have that. We might have one in the future. Maybe. We don't know yet. So that's what that does, though. Looks like we're almost done updating uh, 5M here, which is awesome. And uh, I'll be able to show you how to launch it. Real quick, I'm going to launch my server. I'm going to launch my server real quick, just so you guys can see what's going on here. Don't worry about this part of the video. Ignore this whole part of this video, okay? So I'm just launching my server real quick, um, which we are in testing phase. 
even though uh, we have a lot of followers ready for our server. I'm very excited to have all these people uh, be able to experience this. So, it's almost done booting up and it should automatically launch right off the bat since we already clicked it. Normally what you would do is click that little application I showed you. So we're launching up. We may get an error the first time. If that happens, don't worry about it. And, uh, it's been happening uh, on new launches. Once again, don't forget the yellow window that pops up. That happens. Don't worry about it. So this is the home page of 5M. This is where you're going to be able to connect to your server. But before you do so, the first thing you want to do is go to your settings tab down here at the bottom. And you want to connect your player name with your Steam ID. It just makes things a lot easier for some servers. So tie-dye dude TV is my Steam ID. So that's what we're going to put in there. Um, it automatically saves. There should be no reason to save. And here, look, we already have servers popping up right here in the uh, Browse tab once we click the Server tab. But for our server, we want to type in Sin City. Or do I have a space in it? I might have a space in it. Sin City. Oh, ours isn't popping up. I don't know why it's not popping up. That's okay. So, or we can go to Direct Connect and we can type in Sin City rp.us is our direct connect link to be able to log in and you can see it pop up right here sometimes it pops up in the browse if not it comes you can always come over here and type in sincityrp.us if this doesn't work just try the browse but you can see our and all you would have to do is uh click that connect button when we have that pulled up it's that simple guys sorry about the uh, music there's no way to turn that off right now but uh we'll, we'll connect real quick just to, just to give you an idea what it is so when you click the connect button it's going to load up we have uh, some custom music. We got some custom music and uh, custom background here. This audio is atrocious. Mixed audio. And we're almost in. Here we are. We are now in the Sin City RP roleplay server, advanced roleplay server. And you're ready to rock and roll, folks. That's all. That's all you have to do. Now, I would say like and subscribe me on YouTube, but I don't give a hoot about YouTube, so why don't you follow me on Twitch? That would help me out a lot more. Twitch.tv slash tie-dye dude. Much love, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Adios.